but I forgot to turn on the oven. Oh, boy. There goes dinner. Oh, your father's gonna growl like a lion. Then he should like raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I got an idea. Come here, Vicky. You're an electronic miracle, so let's try something. Stick your finger in the roast. Stick my finger in the roast. Now, give it your full power. My full power... <laughs> yeah, that should do it. Very well done, Vicky. No, it's medium rare. <laughs> Hi, honey. Mmm, oh. that roast smells great. Well, it should. I've been slaving all day over a hot stove to make it. Oh. No, boy. Well, well, Vicky did have a hand in it. No, just a finger. <laughs> That's enough, Vicky. Finish setting the table. So how was school today, teacher? Oh, I'm having a wonderful time. I wish I could substitute for Jamie's regular teacher more often. Now, how's my robot behaving in school? You know, honey, I still can't help worrying when she's out of the house. Oh, honey, she's fitting right in. Yeah. She's being programmed to act just like all the other kids in class. Great. Then our grand experiment is working better than we'd hoped, mm -hmm. huh? She's becoming more human every day. Except she doesn't eat at lunch, of course. Mm -hmm. That cafeteria food will kill you. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Dave. Mom, where's the furniture polish? I want to shine up this gavel. Oh, it's in the cabinet next to the oven. What's the gavel for, Jane? Judge always has a gavel, Dad. A judge? You? What for? Short claims court? <laughs> 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 Teaching Jamie's class about the American legal system. I'm turning his seventh grade classroom into a courtroom. And then we're going to try some of the cases of kids who have broken rules in school. Oh, clever idea. Mm -hmm. What a great way to teach kids about the law. And the class chose me to be judge because I'm fair, smart, and popular. And because none of the other kids wanted it. <laughs> well, wait till you hear my news. I saved $50 today. <laughs> How'd you save the money, Ted? by not getting a parking ticket. You see, I parked in front of a fire hydrant, but when I came out, there was no ticket on my windshield. How could you miss seeing a fire hydrant, Dad? Well, I saw it, but it was late. I was on a side street, and so I just decided to take a chance, you know? And I, I love putting one over on those meter maids. <laughs> <laughs> Court reporter is not in my bubble memory module. Well, you record everything you hear and you repeat it back, word for word. Word for word. Now, when I ask now, you when to... when I ask you to... <laughs> I didn't mean I for didn't you. I didn't mean for you. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> hey, man. How about serving towels with your showers? Sorry, Reggie, but during hay fever season, my nose is quicker than my hand. So, how's the Honorable Judge Lawson? Kind of nervous. Listen, Jamie, I gotta talk to you before... Huh? <laughs> All clear. Achoo! Boy, talk about acid rain. Sorry. Listen, Jamie, I gotta talk to you in private, old... Buddy, old pal. Sure, Warren. Vicky, go in class and wait for me. Sure. Old buddy, old pal. <laughs> What'd you want to talk about, Warren? You're my true friend, right? Right. And friends take care of friends, don't they? Sure. Good, because I'm your first case in court this morning, Judge. <laughs> don't worry, Warren. I'll go easy on you, whatever you did. Thanks, old buddy. Huh? Jamie, I can't believe what I just heard. <laughs> can't believe what I just heard. That's not how a real judge act. I've never been a judge before. I guess I'm gonna have to learn through trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> not funny. Oh. You gotta be tough, or they won't respect you. Let that judge walk on people's court. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Reggie. Why don't I make you my bailiff? I'll be Judge Wapner, and you can be Rusty. 
All right, we'll throw the book at him. The book? We'll throw the whole library at him. <laughs> all right, class, let's settle down, please. You know, by the end of the week, we should all have a better idea of how the American system of justice works. Bailiff, call the court to order, please. Okay. Hear ye, hear ye. The court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Jamie Lawson presiding. All rise. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. Come the judge. <laughs> you may sit. Vicki, call the first case, please. The seventh grade versus Warren and Wright. The defendant will take the stand. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's how you doing, Your Honor, buddy. You are accused of running up the down staircase. Right, Your Honor. How about serving towels with your showers? The court will come to order, please. Now, where were we? Hear ye, hear ye. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Jamie Lawson presiding. All rise. Here come the judge. <laughs> Stop, Vicky. <laughs> That's enough, class. Please continue, Your Honor. You've heard the charge, Mr. Enright. How do you plead? Oh, I'm guilty, Your Honor, buddy. I throw myself on the mercy of the court. Well. <laughs> Running up the down staircase is a serious offense. On the other hand, nobody was hurt. Think Wapner. <laughs> <laughs> On the third hand, somebody could have been hurt. So when you put all the hands together, I sent you to washing dishes in the cafeteria for six months. <laughs> Way to go, Wappy. <laughs> Your Honor, usually the punishment fits the crime. You're right. You also have to eat the food in the cafeteria. <laughs> I think your sentence is a little too harsh. Anybody else think my sentence is too harsh? Other rules. <laughs> next case. The next case is the seventh grade versus Reggie Williams. He's charged with throwing water balloons off the school roof. <coughs> you didn't tell me you were on the docket. What's the difference? You're going to let me off. Besides, will Watner stick it to Rusty? <laughs> but it says here there were a lot of witnesses. Looks like you're really guilty. That's only because I am. <laughs> What's the problem, Your Honor? Oh, nothing. Just having a private consultation in my chambers. <laughs> According to the evidence, you're guilty, Mr. Williams. I have to pass sentence unless you have something to say in your defense. How about this? I've got two tickets to a Madonna concert, and one of them has your name on it. <laughs> Case dismissed! <laughs> Tell me what you two were whispering about, Your Honor. I object! Objection overruled. The court reporter will repeat the transcript. Vicki? He come to judge. He come to judge. Stop, Vicki. Just the conversation between Reggie and Jamie. I have to pass sentence unless you have something to say in your defense. How about this? I've got two tickets to the Madonna concert and one of them has your name on it. Case dismissed. <laughs> Jamie, you can give me that gavel. But why? Because in our legal system, no one is above the law, including judges. Tomorrow, the first case on the docket will be the seventh grade versus Judge Jamie Lawson. The charge? Accepting a bribe. <laughs> Oh, man. There go the judge. <laughs> mm, that was a great dinner, honey. Great? It was fantastic. It's hard to believe that a woman so young, so beautiful, so intelligent. But she can also 
also be a gourmet cook. <laughs> it won't work, Your Honor. You still have to stand trial tomorrow for taking a bribe. They go the judge. They go the judge. Knock it off, Vicky. Dad, you wouldn't really let Mom put your own flesh and blood on trial, would you? Hey, don't drag me into this. If you'd use your head, you wouldn't be worrying about your tail. <laughs> the shame you'll feel when you tell everybody your only son is breaking rocks on a chain gang. I tell them you're learning the construction business from the ground up. <laughs> Jamie, you broke the law and you have to pay the consequences. Well, so did Dad. He's not paying any. When did I break the law? Yesterday. You said, I love putting one over on those meter maids. He, 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 he. <laughs> Well, that's different. <laughs> Why? Do grown-ups have one set of rules and kids another? He's got a point there, Ted. Well, what do you want me to do? Go out and get arrested? Sure. We could be cellmates. <laughs> Enough, Jamie. Well, at least you gave me a last meal before they hang me. <laughs> and we'll send a priest to your cell. <laughs> Vicky. I've got to convince the court tomorrow that I didn't do what I did, or I'm in trouble. They'll hang you. <laughs> They're going to make hamburger out of me unless I have someone like Perry Mason defending me in class. Perry Mason hasn't lost a case in 836 reruns. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I know someone who'd make as good a lawyer as Perry Mason. You! I'm not programmed to be a lawyer. You will be once you finish reading that book Mom has. The one about the great lawyers and their famous cases. You're gonna save my neck, Vicky. Not to mention your tail. <laughs> Oh, meter maid, uh, over here, please, meter maid. <laughs> Sir, I am not a meter maid. The expression meter maid went out with toots, gun mall, and 23 skadoo. <laughs> I'm a parking enforcement officer. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, officer, uh, I would like you to give this car a ticket. As you can see, it's illegally and thoughtlessly parked right in front of this fire hydrant. Well, what's the matter? Does it belong to your ex-wife? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is uh, my car. Your car? Well, as long as you're here, why don't you just move it? Well, I will as soon as you give me your ticket. <laughs> what are you, some kind of a nut? <laughs> well, <laughs> I know it looks that way, but listen, I have a very good reason. So please give me a ticket. I deserve a ticket. In fact, I demand a ticket. <laughs> okay. You want a ticket? You got it, honey. Thank you. Name? Ted Lawson. Ted? Is that an unusual name for a nut? No, it's not unusual at all. That's my two-year-old boy's name. Oh. Today's his birthday. Oh. Got him a two-year-old girl with training wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to see his picture? Well, uh, listen, I, I really don't have time, and I've got a... Oh. See? <laughs> Handsome little dude, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he sure is. <laughs> Got a smile just like his father. Yeah. No front teeth. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Real cute. Uh, now, uh, how, how about my ticket? Oh, I can't give you no ticket. Not to my son's name's sake. Now, why don't you just move your car? <laughs> Are you saying you're not going to give me a parking ticket? Uh-huh. Have a nice day. <laughs> I will not have a nice day unless you give me a ticket. Oh, you'll get over it, honey. <laughs> meter maid, meter maid, meter maid, meter maid. <laughs> Just like my little Teddy when he doesn't get his way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, class, let's begin. You've elected your new judge and will abide by his decision. Go ahead, Vicky. Hear ye, hear ye, the court is now in session. The seventh grade versus Jamie Lawson, crooked judge. <laughs> All rise. Oh. 
Phew! <laughs> you really stuck it to him when you a judge. He's going to kill you. Ah, oh, don't worry. I've got an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> uh, you can all sit down now. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it'd be nice. <laughs> sit, class. Your Honor, may I approach the bench? Your Honor, isn't it true that all people have the right to have an attorney defend them? Well, that's correct. That's correct. Good. I wish to call my attorney. And who's your attorney? Yeah, who's your attorney? I call Vicki Lawson for the defense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Do what it said in the book. What it said in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my glasses and my book. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Your Honor, I ask you, is this the face of a man who beats his wife? <laughs> Wrong case, Vicky. Then I ask you, is this the face of a man who's descended from monkeys? <laughs> Forget it, Vicky. Or is he descended from Adam and Eve and he's the worm in the apple? <laughs> the defendant is mentally incompetent and the defense rests. <laughs> Warren, it's your turn. Oh, right. The defendant will rise. I've heard all the facts in the case, and I find you guilty. I will now pass sentence. Sentence suspended. Hold it. He didn't mean that. Hold it. I didn't mean that. <laughs> what did I mean? Warren, you're a judge, and he's guilty. But Jamie's my friend. I can't punish him. Hold that thought, Warren. <laughs> Warren, it's a judge's duty to uphold the law regardless of his personal feelings. It is? Yes. You're the backbone of our legal system. It's up to you to defend truth and justice. Well, in that case, here it goes. Jamie Lawson, I sentence you to... Erase the blackboard. Warren. <laughs> And right, I'll never take a bribe again, 100 times. Truth, Warren. Plus two weeks' detention. Justice, Warren. And death by the guillotine! <laughs> Mom? Well, I guess we can suspend the last part. Thanks a lot. Well, Jamie, do you have anything to say? Yeah, I'm sorry for what I did. I was wrong, and I deserve to be punished. Well, you got off easy. We should have thrown the book at you. <laughs> no. Hello? Yeah, uh, Ted, I expected you home from work an hour ago. I thought we were going out to dinner. Uh, Joni, when, when you hear this, you, you're really going to laugh. Remember last night we were talking about me setting a better example for Jamie? Yeah. Well, I got to feeling so guilty about it that today uh, I went out and tried to get a parking ticket. You're kidding. Did you get one? Uh, no. Uh, so I, uh, I went over to the police station and I parked in the red zone out front. Well, I bet you got one then. Uh, no, I couldn't find a cop. <laughs> so I, uh, I went inside and demanded that they give me a ticket. And then you got one? No, the desk sergeant said that wasn't his job. <laughs> oh, Ted, that's hysterical. Yeah, honey, it gets even funnier. <laughs> so when he refused to give me the ticket, well, I, I told him a thing or two about what he could do with his job. <laughs> this, is, this is really going to make you scream, honey. <laughs>
Can you come down and bail me out? Ted, I can't. My nails are wet. Nails are what? You, you what, honey? What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ted? Ted? Ted, can you hear me? <laughs> Small wonder brings love. 